So I'll be doing a, a fair bit of long rides this coming season. And of course, for those that watch my channel or the, especially the other channel, uh, you probably saw that I got myself a new bike, not new, new bike, new to me. I got myself a 2014 Victory Cross Country uh, and I love it. I love everything about it, except the one thing that I noticed because I'm so used to having a bike with a backrest was that my back was sore just because I can't, I can't lean up against a backrest. Maybe it's because I'm old or maybe it's because I do long rides. And this coming year, 2024, we've got a four day ride coming up in July, early July. And then we have a three week ride as we're going from Nova Scotia to Halifax um, for Sturgis in, uh, from Halifax to Sturgis in August. So comfort can be a big thing, right? I have to be at the last riding like three weeks. So I went on the old Amazon and uh, I got this for myself, my, my Christmas kind of gift to myself. I got a backrest right here, backrest. Now, 82 bucks, that's pretty good. Cause I know that if you go online and grab like an Indian one or some big brand name, they can cost a lot more. Do I really care? Not really, I'm not a, brands don't mean a lot to me in regards to components, as long as they're built well and they, they do the trick. So I bought this again, December 11th, and I'm doing this video now. It's actually, what is, oh, it's New Year's Eve. I'm doing it now because I want to go out this coming week to make sure that it fits properly on my motorcycle because I do have the ability to return this to like the, I don't know, 11th or something like that of January. Anyways, anyways, uh, this is it. It looked pretty cool when I looked at the site. It does say, right, four victories, magnums for victory hardballs, four victory crossroad models, and there's cross country tour, which is what I have. So I was really, for one, I was really surprised at how big the, the back, the actual backrest was. It's, it's quite large. Now the one thing, um, this, it's like a little storage, storage stuff. You can put, well, I guess your passenger could put things in there, put their phone in there. If they had someone riding on the back, like if my wife was back there or Harley, my daughter was back there, um, you could put something back there because it should be fairly easy for you to reach if you need. Um, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, you know, I, I'm not even really sure what kind of material this is. Definitely, it, it may, it may be leather on the front. I have my doubts. Uh, whatever this is on the back, I don't know. But, you know what, $85, if it lasts me a couple of years, uh, I'll be, I'll be fine with it. But it's, it's wide. That's probably the big thing that I like. It's wide. And I don't know if this is, because some of them you can get that they say it's kind of like, multi multi size like multi position maybe maybe that's the thing because it does say okay here material faux leather folks leather yes so not real leather for sure again i don't care as long as it's waterproof and it does a trick so this is the part that goes underneath your seat i know that there's two bolts inside on the victory cross country and i believe the magnum that they take the bolts off this is going to attach on this is going to go under the the hole in your seat this is the seat itself the actual seat rest you guys can see it here and then this of course is going to go on like 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 so yes on like so i believe that's the way it would go and then this would latch inside here right and you can set it up i believe there's a bolt so you can kind of set it up what height you kind of want it on and uh you're good, right? You're good to go. So I think this is gonna be good. Anyways, uh, let's go down to go see my bike again because the other day I put foot pegs on it. Today, I'm going down to put this on it. So let's see if it fits. All right, so here is my bike. Seat is on it, you guys can see. Uh, yesterday I did install my highway pegs. Today we are installing the seat. Now I just got to get the seat off so these little side covers will come off Which allows us to take the seat off. So I'm just gonna do that and uh, I'll be I'll be right back Okay, so just so you guys can see right there. There's a little Allen key Allen nut torque whatever you want to call it But you have to pull out so that you can get the seat out or off 
and then there's one on each side. So this side done, now to the other side. All right, so both of those are off and this should be as simple as that. Just up she comes. Nice, nice and easy. Oh, well, it's attached because heated seats, so <laughs> don't, pull, don't pull too hard. Basically, these are the bolts that it's going to be uh, attaching to. So we got to take those off and then attach the backrest to it. Okie dokie. Okay, now the last thing is that you're going to have to replace the existing bolts with the bolts that they gave. Because if you try to put the other ones in, you, they just, they don't fit because of this piece here. So we have to use theirs. And then this, as far as I can tell, has two positions, depending on what you want. If you want it more laid back or if you want it more upright. I want mine more upright, so I'm going to tighten it in that position and then try to put the seat back on. All right, guys, there it is, all put on. Now, I didn't bring all the tools that I kind of need, so there is some tightening that has to happen. But for now, it's there. It's super easy to get it off if you want. Right now, you just can lift up here and you unscrew this. And uh, that is how the back piece attaches. So that's, that's pretty easy. And as far as I can tell, if you really wanted this out, as you can see, you can just kind of lift it, right? Lift it out, depending on where you want. I have to figure out if there's a way, and maybe when you tighten it, that the bolts at the bottom, which I haven't yet, that this will snug up a little bit. But other than that, for $85 Canadian, I think that'll, that'll do. That'll do all right. Just a bit of tightening and uh, we're good. All right, guys, links down below. And uh, riding season can't come soon enough. Oh, no. All looking good. All looking good.